Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Stellaris, where we are taking it to the Upper Kingdom and kind of stealing their north western territories. That's the plan, at least. So, the fleet is going to be moving on to Kagaton, take out the station there. And we've made a new colony, which unfortunately has primitives. Our new settlement on Lavaxio Prime have come into contact with primitive stone age aliens. Damn it. That's going to limit the size of our territory. Uh, rather annoyingly. Did we? Did I know they were there beforehand? I guess I did, actually. Yeah, I did say. So how much territory have they taken from us? Oh, god damn it. That's really... That has severely limited a lot of our options there. But they did take the Bifarian from me, so that's okay. Uh, I guess I'll allow them to live for the time being. Let's clear a few tiles for you guys. And queue up a farm, I guess. And we'll let that planet start growing. So our ter borders have expanded here. I really want to get Unar. If we just wait a bit, that should actually expand enough to get Unar. And we're probably going to switch out that Frontier Outpost and build one down here, I think. Maybe two to try and get all these resources. That's what I want. That's what I really, really want. But for now, let's focus on the war. Hmm. Not actually seeing a lot of stuff around here. They do have some mining stations and that, but... Nothing that's going to give me war score, unfortunately. What is going to give me war score is invading their planets, so... Fleet should already have orders to attack that, no. Right. They're going to destroy all these mining stations on the way through, but that's not the end of the world. We've got bombers, we've got all the long-range stuff. One of our scientists leveled up, nice. Okay, there was a hostile fleet present. Ooh, hello. Ooh, there we go, they do have their military fleet coming to investigate. The second of mycelium carriers with less than half of the fleet power we've got. Let's have a look at their ships quickly. What are they using? So, warp drive 2. Okay. Didn't we... No, we didn't destroy a wormhole generator. We destroyed a frontier outpost. Yep. So, what are they actually using? They're using a lot of different weapons here. Warp drive 2. Oh, shit. They've got battleships. They've got a couple of battleships. Crap. Okay. That's interesting. We don't actually have battleships yet. I think we could still take this fleet, though. Uh, they've got disruptors, point defense, and cutting lasers. Okay, so they ignore shields and armor. That's a pretty diverse weapons package. Gotta say, I kind of like it. Uh, they've also got scout fighters on their battleships. So they've got a hangar module, which means our bombers are going to be less effective as well. Interesting. Okay, that's their battleships. What about the cruisers? Large UV lasers... Disruptors and medium cutting lasers. Okay. So they've got the same hull points on their cruisers, but less shields and less armor. Uh, their damage is 25.42. What's our damage on our cruisers? Oh, we're way higher on damage because of the torpedoes, I guess. But they do have a lot of point defense in that. I mean, they've got point defense on their battleships. Do they have point defense on their cruisers? No. What about the destroyers? Yes. Second level point defense as well. And a lot of hull points. 630 hull points on their destroyers. Our destroyers... Our destroyers have... Okay, they actually have the same. Okay. Hmm. That's not good. They've got a lot of point defense and we're primarily still missile based. Interesting. Well, we're going to have to take out this station first. Hopefully we can do this before the enemy fleet gets in range or anything. Taking out both stations at the same time. Station under attack? Oh! Oh, hello! Oh, the League of Mauritius is actually attacking Bertios. That's adorable. All 854 military power. And we've now researched battleships. Thank you very much. Okay, what do we, what could we go for next? Um, I actually, ooh, actually, we're very close to level four armor. That would be a nice upgrade. Skipping level three entirely. Yeah, that's only 19 months away. And we just got a bunch of progress from some debris we analysed. That's fine. Okay, this fleet is going to have a very bad time. What have they actually got? I mean, the defense platform, the mining station, and the spaceport are already engaging them. Yeah, so basically all the shit, everything's shooting at them already. 
Um, and they're in overlapping fields here, so they're losing... They're going to be taking mine damage for a start. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Although you have you are losing shields pretty quickly, and you've already lost all your shields. Hmm. Okay. So we've got simultaneous combat going on. That's only 1.2k. I'm not too worried about that. We've already taken out both mining stations. We've got a little bit of armor damage on some of our ships, but we'll be okay. That fleet is going to head up this way, and then possibly chase us, or head into our territory. Either way, we've got a couple of big fights. Let's focus on this one first. And we'll go down to fast speed. Okay, yeah. Lots of fire going out. They're already losing ships. We're losing shields, but our armor is holding. They're flying through a minefield, which is just terrible for them. And they fled. Yeah. Okay, I figured that was pretty much how it was going to work out for that. Uh, we knew they didn't have a big fleet, we knew it wasn't going to be a very high-tech fleet, and we knew the defences around here were pretty goddamn strong, so... I'm okay with that. And we can now do improved research. Uh, let's see... Mining drone laser? Could be interesting. X-ray laser? Is that the level 5 laser? I think that... Yeah, that's, uh, that might be the level 5 lasers. Or zero-point reactors. Damn, that is tempting. Because those are very powerful. But that's going to take a very long time. But if it doesn't come up again, then... Maybe we want to take it now. But it's a big commitment. I mean, I could get the physics labs. Three and four at the same time. Why, do, why can we get three and four at the same time? That's kind of weird, but okay. Uh, I think we... Yeah, I think that's too big a reach right now. Let's actually tech up a bit first. Okay, so... That was fine. They... No losses there. They fled before anything got killed. Fled before anything got killed. And... Lost a destroyer and two corvettes. So they've got two cruisers, two destroyers, and no corvettes left. They're not going to be a threat anytime soon. Right, jump over to these guys. How are we doing? Lots of fire going in. Again, their lasers are causing us some damage. We lost one corvette, though. That's... That's good. I'm okay with that. Stop bombarding that planet for me. Where's their fleet gone? Uh, it's gone somewhere that's not here. It's jumped somewhere. Oh, it's jumping away. What the hell? Are you not going to come engage me? But you came all this way. You came all this way and I was looking forward to having fun with you. Okay. Fair enough. Now you've got some transports or something flying around there. Okay, uh, so what's actually in orbit? A science ship. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, in which case, now is probably a good time to get our army embarked and start bringing you over this way before that fleet comes back and can possibly engage you. Cool, more progress. Uh, we need to design a battleship as well. Uh, let's see, how are you guys doing here? Are you, are you working that down for me? Yeah, you're working that down so fast. Well done. Okay, you guys head over there. Let's design a battleship. So, that's my cruiser. Where's the battleship? The Dauntless Class Battleship. Damn, that sounds pretty cool. So, yeah, you're currently all missiles and broadside stuff. You do look pretty awesome. We're probably going to want two battle two battleship designs. We're going to want a heavy carrier, and we're going to want... A straight-on gunship, battleship kind of situation. So, you actually have a hangar... How many hangars can you have on one of these things? Oh, wow. Okay, so you can have a hangar bow, a carrier core, and a broadside stern for our heavy carrier. Which would actually give you three fighter squadrons. Well, three squadrons of, well, let's say basic fighters. And two bomber wings. That... Yeah, that sounds pretty strong, actually, for our heavy carrier. You have a lot of point defense. We need better point defense. That's our biggest problem right now. And let's see. Medium antimatter missiles, which seems good to me. And to diversify, we could go with disruptors, or rail guns, or UV lasers. Uh, let's see. That does extra shield damage. That does extra armor damage, but only after it gets through the shields. We're currently fighting people who are using shields, so let's go with the rail guns. 
fact, maybe diversify even more. Because they've got a lot of point defense. Okay, let's auto complete the rest of the design, see what that gives us. So you've got the level 2 hyperdrive, you've got your combat controller, plasma thrusters, and. Uh, what level is that? Subspace sensors, yeah. So 2,400 hull points. Uh, we can change that around because I want crystal infused plating, please. Thank you. So 2,640 hull points. 75% armor, that is a lot of armor. And 840 shields. That's not bad, actually. Although we are way over the top on power. We can probably... Can we not afford more deflectors or something? At the exchange of power? How much power is that generating? 100 power. Hmm. I guess not in that case. But I can probably bring the maintenance costs down a bit if we replace one of some of these. Wait, what did I just... Did I just replace a shield? I think I just replaced a shield, didn't I? Yeah, there we go. Sorry, wrong one. Okay, so we need one antimatter reactor. But that makes it just a little bit cheaper. Like, point, point 0.2 maintenance. But still, I'll... Uh, I'll accept that. There we go. That's our heavy carrier. So we're just going to call you the heavy carrier. Because unfortunately you're still going to be class battleship. I can't change that, unfortunately. I wish I could. Heavy carrier class battleship doesn't sound right, but screw it. It is what it is. Um, now we also want to design a new ship. So the Dauntless is the original design. Um, so broadside bow, artillery bow, two small, one medium, one large, or two large. I think I prefer the yeah, keep the broadside. Broadside core, artillery core, hangar core, carrier core. I mean, we could go with the, the hangar core, which can still gives us four medium slots, and we could put, say, fighters on it. And then... Broadside stern, maybe? I mean, they've got battle they've got battleships of their own, so we probably do want some large weapons in this. I mean, we could just make this thing, you know, absolutely rocking it with missiles and stuff. Let's get some shield damage in there. Let's get our rail guns in there. And then do we just go heavy on the missiles? They've got a lot of point defense, but that's one, two, three, four, five large missiles firing. That's a lot of missiles from a big ship firing a very long range. Range of 90. I think we give that a try. I like the idea of the battleship being a big, long-ranged heavy slugger. Put in the crystal infused plating there. So again, we've got the same armor and shields. That's pretty good. And power is actually looking correct there. Nice. Yeah, save that. Okay, can I afford to start building them? Not yet, actually. We haven't actually lost that many ships yet. I mean, we can just go over the budget. We are going to lose ships before this war is over, so... Oh, they are very expensive. And that requires a level 6 spaceport, so you actually need to upgrade first. So let's get that upgraded, and I guess we'll upgrade the one in Bertios as well, as your our second big starbase. Okay, cool. We've got battleships, guys. Freaking battleships. Research complete. Okay, we're going to go up to fast speed. We've got quicksand basin removal. Research. Nice. Uh, ooh, ship upgrade cost reduction. Sure. That's just a transport fleet. Don't care about that. Ooh, hello. Second mycelium carriers are coming in again. We should be able to get this ground invasion done beforehand, though. Ah, that's probably what they were waiting for, maybe? No, that's a science ship. Where are they? No, they're... Okay, I thought they might be trying to do a ground invasion, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, you guys just land your armies. The defences are already gone, that's fine. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, they found our science ship, damn. Okay, this might require a bit of micromanagement. No, you'll be safe. You're going to Yamifer. Okay. So they are actually coming in system. 
which means we're probably going to be wanting to fight them soon. Oh, what's that? No, that's transports. Yeah, they are going to try and take back that planet, which we cannot allow. So as soon as you guys arrive... Trade deal, research agreement with the Bothroom Republic has expired. We'll go sort that out in a moment. Right, invade this planet for me. Cool. Earth has upgraded. Uh, yes, I would like some battleships, please. Uh, let's actually get a heavy carrier first. Okay, ground invasion is going ahead. That's going to be over very quickly. Uh, tell you what, let's bring you guys... Now, if I do that, I might lose sight of them. I'm tempted to wait until we've got the battleship deployed and possibly get these guys fully repaired before we engage. I am worried that their higher technology, even though they've got lower military power, their higher technology is going to cause us problems, but... Then again, we know where they are. We do have an advantage. Do we just go in now? I don't know. It's a difficult choice. I'm tempted to wait for the battleship, but that... I mean, how quickly are they wearing down the defences over the planet? Pretty quickly, which means they're going to invade. How many armies have they got? Eight. We've got more defence on the on the ground. No, we don't, because I moved the army. Okay, yeah, they'll take that planet back really quickly if we don't do anything. I think we just go for it. We've taken very little actual damage. I think we've got to engage. We knew this was going to happen. Uh, you don't have any orders currently, so you can wait until this battle is over. Uh, how long was it actually going to take to build, by the way? Yeah, that's a that's a long time to wait. Cool, we got the planet. Nice. Okay, you guys are jumping out. This is going to be the big fight. This could decide the whole course of the war. Uh, we're also going to come in pretty much right on top of them because, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna arrive from here and they're there. So this is going to be an immediate confrontation. Yeah, we are about to jump in. I'm actually pretty nervous about this, but we're going to have to go for it. Fingers crossed we actually have the edge and can do this. What was that? Something else arrived. Oh, they got reinforcements. Another cruiser and a destroyer. Oh, damn. They already managed to take it. Come on, where's the fleet? There we go. Oh, we're in, we're in, we're in. We are engaged. Bring it, boys. They've got better weapons, but we outnumber them significantly. Okay, we're firing. Stripping shields off both sides. They're, one of their destroyers is gone. Yeah, they've lost almost in shields across the entire fleet. One of their cruisers just went down. Destroyers are going pretty fast, actually. We're taking out some of their transports. I wish I'd rather focus fire on those battleships, but hey. Yeah, no, they've lost this. Oh, we did lose a cruiser though. I, I don't really care about that right now, game. I'm I'm kind of involved in what's happening here. Oh Jesus Christ! Why every time you have a big fight, all the crap happens? Okay, the League of Marisha back, and they're gonna they've jumped in here. They're gonna get absolutely wrecked. We don't need to worry about that. Okay, we've definitely won this fight. I don't think our losses are too bad. We have lost we have lost a number of ships, but I don't think it's too bad. Uh, oh, and we now have level 4 armor, which is also nice. Oh, and improved fighter and bomber wings. Uh, ooh, yes, please. That would be rather nice. Uh, trade deal. Uh, research agreement with the Fex Klanger for 10 years. Sure. We're going to lose another cruiser. I really don't want to lose another cruiser. Oh, that hurt. These battleships. Oh, actually, they've already lost most of their battleships. We might lose another cruiser here, but I think that's going to be it. Yeah, now we're focusing down single targets. All the missiles are going in. Oh, god damn it! Our Admiral died in the middle of battle. Was their ship destroyed or did they die of old age? Ah. Oh. Wait, what? Why did our Admiral die there? Our Admiral was with the fleet. Did I have two Admirals? 
I might have had two admirals because Rin Nakamura is still alive. Okay, I might have accidentally had two admirals. I'm not sure. Either way, just just kill this last battleship for me. Yeah, battleship is down, and they've lost all their transports. Holy crap! Right, resiege that world for me. Uh, embark that army. You guys are going to come back here. Uh, that science ship needs to definitely come back and start working on all that technology. Because there's so much there. Okay, what did we actually lose? Uh, okay, that's the Bertier system. I don't care about that. That's the Bertier system. I don't care about that. Okay, so we destroyed another destroyer and another corvette in Bertios. That's not what I'm really worried about right now. Are you guys still in combat? Where's my... Oh, there's another transport ship. Oh, okay, well, just kill the fucker, please. Looks like I lost... Did I lose all my carriers? No, I've still got carriers. Okay. Cool. What did we actually lose? We lost three cruisers. Really? No, we lost way more than that, surely. Three cruisers... No corvettes, no destroyers. I could have sworn we lost destroyers in that fight. But we destroyed six cruisers, seven destroyers, six corvettes, and four battleships. Apparently, well, we destroyed more cruisers and destroyers than they actually had at the start of the fight, which we understood. Ah, uh, yeah, those guys. Okay, so it's counting those guys as destroyed up there. Holy shit, that was a big fight. Okay. I mean, we took casualties, but we knew that going in. We handled that a lot better. We, we lost fewer ships than I thought we would. Um, although, did we lose... Nope. We still got four Achilles class and five Arc Royal class. Yeah, we actually we took surprisingly few casualties in that. Damn. That will be a big help, because now they're really going to be on the back foot. Construction complete. Uh, and we've just finished our first battleship, which is now on its way. The battleship UNS Endeavour, our first heavy carrier. You know what? I think we need... I think we need to make sure we've got one of our Dauntless class on the way as well. Oh, what's that? That is a single destroyer. Oh, please don't attack my transports. No, okay, you jumped through somewhere else. That's fine. Oh, Wasari Imperium. Hello. What technology are you guys using? You are hyperdrive. You've got... Ooh, shield capacitors. Interesting choice. Plus 50% shield regeneration. Okay. Level 5, large hyper shields. But not great power. We've got better power than you. And we're soon going to have better bombers and stuff than you. And they're doing... Yeah, they've got a decent mix. Ooh, quantum missiles. They've got better missiles than us. Okay. Well, we're not fighting the Rosari Imperium, so that's okay. I've, I think the Upper Kingdom is going to be surrendering soon. Okay, that's done. Right. Land armies and invade, please. Oh, we have unemployment on Lavasio Prime. Why do we have unemployment here? Because I haven't given you those jobs. Oh, because we've got Seligmi migrating to the planet and not working on stuff. Okay, well, let's clear a tile. Um, oh, looks like the Havariga are also migrating here. Fine. That's not too much of a problem. Uh, which means I can upgrade the reassembled ship shelter way earlier than I expected. Actually, no, we don't want to do that first. Cancel that. Yep. And cancel that. Yep. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna cancel that as well. We actually want to build something for them to work on first. So what do we want on this planet? It's got quite a lot of food. It's got quite a lot of minerals. I think, yeah, maybe a mineral planet. It's got some Bifarian, so we we're, we're we're producing some power here. But it's got minerals there. Actually, no, those mineral tiles are all occupied. So it's just those two. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's go power. You always want power, no matter what. Let's build some basic power plants. Those guys will have something to do. Then we upgrade this. And then we start clearing out these tiles for future visitors to work on for us. 
Okay, we have reinvaded this planet. As again, this will be over very, very quickly. Enemy planet secure. Okay, got it. I think on that note, what we probably want to do is actually send the fleet to get repaired quickly. No major threats on the on the horizon, and we need to start a second offensive soon. Possibly taking out any spaceports in Zipper, and then moving down to Firin Malba, if they've got anything left. But, I mean, the Rosari Imperium had a fleet up here as well, which would kind of indicate they've swept through this area already. We're still only a 29% war score, though. And they're not going to accept our demands just yet. So we've still got to keep on pushing, still got to try keep taking out a few planets. Possibly get a second fleet together and start taking out the um, their vassal state, the League of Marish. That might be an, another option. I mean, one of our battleships on its own can pretty much handle everything they've got. So, I don't know, we'll have to see. Anyway, I'm going to take a break here. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. And hopefully, I'm going to see you later for the next one. Bye.